This is Lee Ransell. My name is Lee Ransell, and I'm also a collector. I'm an artist, but I'm also a collector of art. And I started collecting many, many years ago uh, when I went to Illinois State University in graduate school. One of the, my uh, professors there uh, was Dr. William Colvin. And Colvin, I uh, would travel around with Bill Colvin uh, to uh, places like New York and Nashville. And he took me down to uh, Nashville and introduced me to David Driscoll. And I looked at their collection down there and he would take me to New York. And I started going up there with him, trying to get an exhibition together for Illinois State University, for our university. Well, after that, I remember that, after graduate school, and I decided, because I didn't know at that point any black artists, and I decided at that point I would start collecting. And so I kept a catalog of all of those people that I met before, and when I started moving back up to New York and moving around, I started going, finding those people and collecting uh, works of art. So this is some of my collection you can see right here. Uh, Benny Andrews from, uh, I think it's from 1972. And, uh, and uh, some of these pieces were, were acquired years ago. Bob Blackburn from Bob Blackburn's studio. Uh, I, I, I would go to his workshops in New York and pick up portfolios of works. This is a Furious West over on the right hand side. One of my favorite pieces up there of Sisters that you see that he does with this oil and uh, on canvas there. And one of my favorite artists is, uh, which you probably can't see as well, is Bob Carter. I don't know if you can see uh, the Bob Carters that I have. Carter is a tremendous uh, graphic artist. He, his pencil work is very is outstanding, that you can see in another one down at the bottom here of, of Bob Carter's. Um, also have John Biggers. John Biggers uh, was one of the artists that I, I brought to Morris Brown uh, many years ago, and I have several of his pieces along with uh, uh, a couple of Claude Clarks that you would see in another room that we have here and um, uh, that he done in the early 40s and, and the 50s. Claude was about in his 90s when he passed. Mm -hmm. um, also have um, 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 John Biggers and Elizabeth, Elizabeth Catlett. Uh, John Biggers over there has a piece called Seesaw. And uh, he did that uh, work on the more abstract pieces. And Elizabeth Catlett. I picked the Catlett up in Mexico when I went down to, uh, uh, me and Rick Powell went down to Mexico and to visit uh, Elizabeth Catlett, and I was able to pick that piece up, up there. Mm -hmm. um, one of the other artists that I have is uh, Leroy Clark uh, from, uh, from the island of Trinidad uh, from there. Uh, and this is, uh, he's one of the leading artists on Trinidad. It's called Dwins. Uh, and I would pick this art to my students at Morris Brown and ask them to try to interpret it. And uh, they would come up with various uh, type of interpretations, but actually it's fish is in the belly of these two people there. Uh, he did a series called Dwins on that one. And Stephanie Jackson, Stephanie Jackson's out of uh, University of Georgia uh, in Athens, and I have several of her works uh, along with uh, that I have in another room. Okay. Um, then, then also um, Jacob Lawrence and Hale Woodruff. Uh, it's a Jacob Lawrence piece over there called The Library. Uh, he did that series, uh, a limited edition in New York for his wife, uh, for a fundraiser for his wife, and I was able to pick that up. And, and, uh, and also a Hale Woodruff that I, that I picked up. Uh, other kinds of arts I collect, though, uh, is, is Salvador Dali. I picked this piece up in, um, in Paris in the 80s uh, at, at, a, at a gallery there, and uh, took a long time to get that out in, in a row. Uh, picked this up uh, actually uh, in, the, in the 70s, uh, early 70s, was, was originally part of my collection. Al Hollinsworth is another important artist uh, from New York that you see his work here and uh, uh, out of New York. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Any final thoughts for people interested in getting started? Well, I, th I think you should. I think of those that people that are interested in collecting art, uh, you maybe start with prints, but I think at one point you need to go to originals and to try to follow the careers of those artists that you would like, that you could find what you really like, and then try to acquire that piece. You may not be able to afford that piece all at once uh, at that particular time, but generally the artist will work something out where you can collect that piece over a period of time. This is how I did. I put artists 
hard work on stories uh, for about two or three years sometimes before I got them out. Uh, so I think that uh, you should do that.